If you ever want to tap into your home's equity, you have several options on how you can do that. One of the lesser known options is the he loan, right? The he loan. Here at Low V Rates, we kind of have fun with some of these acronyms. We also call it a VI, sorry, a V loan, which is simply a he loan for veterans. That V right there for veterans. Now it's not a VA product. It's just a nice little fun way we have. So let's talk about the HE loan, which stands for Home Equity Loan. Today, I'm going to go over what that is, how it can benefit you, how the process of getting one works, and some situations where you might want to consider getting one for yourself. It's Red Friday. If you're not wearing red, pause the video, go into your bedroom or wherever you are, find a red shirt, get some red paint, paint yourself up. Why do you want to wear red on Fridays? Because that's what we do if we support the military, if we love our military. Red originally stood for remember everyone deployed. We've now seen it kind of take over as just a way to be like, you know what, guys? I don't care what political party you're in. I don't care what you believe in many aspects of your life. But if you support the military like we do here at Lovia Rates, active retired veterans, then wear red. Speaking of red, down there in the bottom right corner of your screen, there should be a red subscribe, like, follow, whatever. Click that so that you are always first in line when these videos come out. First things first, I want to explain what a he loan is. As I already mentioned, he loan is an acronym which stands for Home Equity Loan. Okay? Like a cash out refinance and like HELOCs, he loans are a loan that allow you to get cash that you can use for whatever reason you want, but you get that cash based on your home's equity. Basically, your home is used as collateral so that you can go borrow cash. I've had videos in the past where I've referred to as your home kind of as like an ATM, right? The more money you have in your checking account, the more you can access but you can never take more money out of an ATM than you have in the in your checking account. It's the kind of the same thing with a he loan. You can go get all the equity out of the home that you have. So you're gonna receive all of this cash almost always in a single lump sum when you're doing a he loan. With many lenders setting a minimum amount that you can borrow, let's say like $10,000, right? The lender doesn't wanna go out and give you a loan for five grand it's not worth all the paperwork and the headache. You can go get five grand another way. So there's generally speaking gonna be some minimum loan amounts. There may even be some maximum loan amounts, but most of us don't get into that. The terms, the mortgage terms of a HE loan usually have a set repayment period. I'm gonna get into that real quick. So one lump sum, forgot to put that up there. That's a characteristic of a HE loan. Okay, also set, terms. We're going to get into terms right now, but when I'm talking about terms, I'm talking about mortgage terms. Like how long is it going to, how long do you have to pay back the loan? This period is usually anywhere from five to 20 years. Though he loans might have a 30 term. It's all a 30 year term. It's almost always something shorter. We see probably 10, 15, 20 year terms being standard on he loans. Now, as for the HE loan's interest rate, those two are almost always fixed, okay? It's almost always a fixed rate, which a lot of people like when you're dealing with a HE loan. Now, because of all of these factors, the lump sum, the repayment period or term, and fixed rates, you're always going to be making the same monthly payment like you would on a first mortgage, same, payment during the entire term of the loan. As you pay it down or not, your payment stays the same, just like it would on a first mortgage. Let's quickly go over some of the benefits of a HE loan, okay? I already told you about one of them, fixed rate, right? That's a benefit. Also, you're gonna have lower interest rates on a HE loan than you would on other debts like credit cards or personal loans. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that here. Lower rate, okay? You know, when people go and pull out this lump sum, they pull this equity out of their house, they're using it to pay off credit cards. They're using it to do home improvements. They're doing it to put in a swimming pool, take a vacation. You can do all of that on a credit card, but not with nearly the same advantages 
that you can do on a he loan. Okay, when you have a fixed monthly payment on a he loan, it makes budgeting and living your life so much easier. When you get your credit card payment every single month, man, that thing's going up and down as the Fed continues to raise interest rates. You're gonna see people, wait, why is my credit card payment so much more this month than it was last month? I didn't even spend any money on it. Well, it's because interest rates are gonna keep going up. Now, your mortgage rates terms and your monthly payment, as I talked about, when they're not changing, life is just a lot less stressful anyhow. So that's a very big benefit. Also, there's almost never any restrictions on how you use this money, okay? I'm gonna put limited. And in some cases, there's none, but there's limited restrictions on what you can do with the money when you pull it out of your house. There's also lower upfront closing costs than if you were to do an entire cash out refinance on your first mortgage. Let's talk about how you get one of these loans, okay? Let me take a second here to erase. What is the process? Whoa, there goes the whiteboard's moving around. What is the process of getting a helo, okay? Well, since your home is the, is, is the collateral, it's what's securing the debt, the process for a he loan is actually pretty similar to what you do if you were buying a home or refinancing a home. Okay, for starters, you're gonna have to contact a lender. I'm gonna make this really easy for you. Contact low VA rates. But as you know from watching us, this isn't an advertisement. We're not trying to convince you that you gotta come with us. We're educating you. But of course, we are a lender. So if you would like, contact a lender. Step one, got to find out who's willing to do he loans, okay? Do you offer them or not? Once you've found two or three lenders, because we're always recommending that you shop around, you're going to need to fill out and submit your application for the home equity loan. You're also going to need to submit documentation, just like you would on a home purchase or a full-blown refinance. I'm not going to write them up here because most of you guys already know them, but you're going to have to, you're you're going to, have to be employed. So you're gonna have to verify your employment. You're gonna do that by turning in pay stubs for the most recent 30 days. You're gonna be asked for W-2s, possibly some tax returns. Do you have homeowner's insurance that's in place, right? If you're gonna access your home's equity, you better have homeowner insurance. So you're gonna have to submit that paperwork. You're gonna sign some documents that give us or whatever lender you go with the permission to pull your credit. And then at this point, the lender's going to start processing your loan. Like I said, pulling credit, um, setting up an appraisal to be done, and start making sure that you're able to get approved for this mortgage. Now, during this processing stage, the lender may come back to you, most of you guys already know this, and ask you to supply additional information or additional documents based on their underwriting process or their process, uh, their, their processor's process, okay? They're gonna order an appraisal, gotta determine how much your home's worth so we know how much equity you have. The more equity you have, the more you can borrow. Now we use this appraised value to calculate something that we've got some videos on, but it's called your loan to value. And really on a second mortgage, on a HELON, we put a C in front of the LTV. We've got lots of videos about loan to value, but let's talk about the CLTV ratio. It's a little bit different. For most HELONs, you will be limited to borrowing anywhere from 80 to 90%, okay, 80 to 90% of your home's value based on the CLTV. Once the appraisal has been completed and processing has been done, your he loan will go to underwriting where the final rate, the loan amount, and the approval will be determined. Now, I wanna come back to this C real quick. I didn't get into that. C stands for combined, combined loan to value, because remember, this is a second loan in addition to your first mortgage. So we're gonna combine the balance of your first mortgage, what's still owed on your mortgage, and then we're gonna add that to the new he loan you're getting, add those two together, divide that by the home's appraised value, and that is your CLTV. Now, when everything is good and you get approval, that means you're ready to close and you're gonna go get your cash, okay? That's why we do this. All in all, this entire process will generally take anywhere from, you know, a couple of weeks 
to maybe a month or two, but really these things are moving quickly right now. Very popular loan while interest rates are going up and home values are so high. So now that you know the time it might take for your HE loan to get done, let's talk about three situations where getting one might be a good idea, okay? I'd like you guys to think about this. I'm gonna get rid of that whole V loan right there. We're gonna talk about three potential situations where a HE loan is a good idea for you. You already have a really low interest rate on your first mortgage. This is the number one reason why these HE loans are so popular right now. Because in 2020 and 2021, people were securing interest rates on their mortgages down in the low twos, okay? And so you've already got a super low rate. And you don't wanna mess with it by doing a full blown refinance. So if you don't wanna lose that incredible rate on your mortgage, but you still wanna access perhaps the most equity you've ever had in your home, getting a HE loan is a great way to do that so that you don't have to impact your original loan. Now be aware that you will need enough room in your monthly budget to afford making both the payment on this super low interest rate first mortgage you have and your new HE loan payment. But we've already talked about that, right? That's part of that approval process. The second reason you might want to get a HE loan is that you need money, okay? You need money, you need it now, you kinda want one big lump sum. You want a big check because you got a project or something to do. Before you go get this HE loan, you should have a plan on how you're gonna use the money. If it's something like college tuition, a kitchen remodel, yeah, you need one big lump sum of cash. Maybe not always for college, but sometimes room and board for the first year, you wanna get those books, you wanna pay tuition. But anytime you need a lump sum, the HE loan is a really, really good solution for you. Third option you have, right? Let's say you've got a really, you've got a lot of high interest rate debt, okay? This is for a lot of us right now. Lots, credit card, debt. I'm gonna come over here. Don't know how that looks on film, but that's what I'm doing, right? You got a lot of credit card debt and you just wanna get rid of it, pay it off. The interest rates on these HE loans are going to be lower than the interest rate on almost every single credit card out there. Yeah, we've had people say, no, I got a 5% on my credit cards, or I got a 2.99% on my credit cards. That's an introductory cheeser rate. Not gonna happen. Credit card rates are somewhere between like 17 to 25%. Go look at the fine print. You're not gonna have a lower interest rate on credit cards than you will on a HE loan. So if you've got credit card debt, which I bet you 95 plus percent of you do, looking into getting a HE loan to pay those credit cards off might save you thousands of dollars in interest. So I hope now that you have a better understanding, some education on what a home equity loan is. Here at Lovia Rates, we are very excited to let you know that this is now something we're doing. We were not offering HE loans, HELOCs or second mortgages too long ago in the past. We just weren't doing it because interest rates were so low we were focused on streamline refinances, cash out refinances, and all of those normal things. We're still doing all of them. And for some of you, they still make sense, but make sure you know we're now doing these types of loans, even if we've told you we weren't in the past. So if you've got equity, you wanna tap into it, you're still not quite sure, should I do a HE loan or should I cash out? Go ahead and give us a call. One of our licensed loan officers will be able to look at your situation, give you a very unbiased opinion on what option works best for you. Thanks for watching. I hope this was very helpful. We'll see you next time.